Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to cover the interview questions that you will get for automation testing. So whenever you are going for a automation test or interview, what are the frequently asked questions? What are the top questions that you will short short get in an interview and how to answer them? Those things are explained in, in this video. Okay. So first we will see how do you choose test cases for automation? This is one of the question. Then we will see what tools do you use for automation? And are you involved in implementing framework? What is your contribution? Okay, so these are the three questions that we are going to see today. So first of all is the criteria. How do you choose test cases which are eligible for automation? So the very first criteria is to go for regression test cases. Then is the retesting test, re then retesting cases like the cases that are eligible for, you know, from which you can find out whether the product is stable or not. So you should target them first for the automation. Then the test cases that are repetitive, you should target them. Then there are some test cases which are which are eligible for automation. Now let's say now in these days, every organization you will see they are telling that I want 100% of automation. So what, what do you mean by that? So when they tell 100% of automation means, let's say if you have 1000 test cases in your project, and uh, out of that 600 test cases are such that that are eligible for automation means they don't involve any of the criteria like rebooting of the machine or you know starting and stopping the services or trying to automate the captcha image okay so there are 400 test cases that are uh, related to all these things like captcha images graph charts and there are 600 test cases that are really eligible worth for automating okay so so if you automate those 600 test cases then also you can tell okay we have automated 100 percent because because see you cannot tell that you can automate each and everything there are times when manual testing is also required okay everything cannot be automated yes you should tell all these things in your you know criteria like what all is eligible for automation and what all is not eligible for automation okay so basically which are all the functional doable test cases those are eligible for automation so those things you should choose first for automation then you can go for complex cases like you know starting and stopping services or something like graphs and charts and other things are there but that would take a lot of time so it is better to keep them for manual testing only okay so these are all the criteria that you should tell and this is the way that you should answer first of all you should take regression then retesting then define them what are the test cases that you feel that are all eligible for automation okay and what is the exclusion criteria now next question is asked is what tools do you use for automation now let's say there are multiple projects that you have worked on and those projects are pertaining to the web based testing so you can tell like selenium if you are into api automation then you can tell postman rest assured if you are doing performance testing then you can tell the tools that you have used might be jmeter okay now there are times when people are involved in both the kind of projects like they are also doing web testing they are doing api testing then they can tell both the tools but they should also explicitly tell like for web automation i was using selenium for api automation i was using rest assured never tell like for web automation you were using rest assured or for web automation you you are using postman okay so this will this is absolutely wrong and this will give a wrong impression on the interviewer okay so so think and answer in an interview okay and don't try to fool them otherwise it won't leave a good impression on them another thing is these days you know desktop automation tools are also available let's say if you are having some uh, kind of a button or a utility that needs to be run so what you can do is uh, you can use auto it tool and vnm is also available let's say if you want to automate the install shield wizard similarly powershell is also available so these are all the tools that you should tell them which you use gen generally for automation now are you involved in implementing framework what is your contribution so framework over here means the selenium framework the hybrid framework or the page object model whichever you would have 
worked on in your project in your respective organization so the very first two points are don't say i have created entire framework don't say i am only automating everything okay these two statements are very weird and no no one will believe you trust me because this is not at all possible for creating the entire framework there is a whole team required it would be started uh, the team lead or the solution architect or the test architect would start creating the framework first and then eventually they'll involve the team members to create the classes to create the page pages and to create the reusable components okay so what you should tell is i am involved in creating uh, reusable components adding new test cases to the framework which has already been designed okay the team has already designed it or you can tell that you are trying to add a log feature into your framework you are working on some kind of reporting okay then executing test cases checking your code so these are all your daily activities that you are doing and this is actually your contribution towards the you know test automation so these are all the things that you should tell and if they are asking that uh, what kind of reporting mechanism is been used then you can tell like extend report it reports is there test ng reports is there so various third party reports that are available with the integration with the selenium you can tell those things okay so so these are all the things that you should tell uh, when you are asked this question are you involved in implementing the framework okay. so let's all for this video so what we discussed is we discussed three important questions that you will sure short get in an automation interview how do you choose test cases for automation what tools do you use for automation are you involved in implementing framework what is your contribution okay so these are very minute details that you should are uh, that you should tell in an interview whether whenever these questions are asked okay and as we discussed the do's and don'ts what you should answer what you should not answer okay so you should keep in mind and prepare yourself in a better manner for an interview okay don't lose hope stay motivated so thank you for your time thank you for watching this video and if you have liked this video then please share with all your friends so that maximum people in the community can get help so stay tuned for more videos thank you